that in the time giving time, the two of them were going to join together, but you don't know about it? No, they're not going to join together. They were not going to join together. Mm -hmm. Do you know what was going to happen? Man of God, the Lord said to me, the two of them, the first name was called Paula, the second name was called Mary, and the Lord said to me, this woman was going to hear news. It was going to be bad news. But the bad news is accidents connected to each other. It was planned towards this life. The time it happened, it was going to be consecutive. The time it happened, the first one that was going to happen was happening to the taller. Then the mother one was happening to Mary. Paula's accident, she was going to die. But for the Mary's one, she was going to be amputated. So that given season, she was going to cry. Now let me tell you something. Whilst I'm checking in the spiritual realm, I have seen Paula looking north and Mary looking south. And the Lord is ministering to me right now that when you pray, remember the Paula in your prayers. She's under attack. Her life is not moving. A lot of things are happening to her. She's in something like a cage. And the Lord said, this service is causing her to escape her deathbed. His father's side. The Lord says on that father's side, there was an attack against all the men. Mm. But this war, where is your son? Right there. Come. Amen. What has been said in the atmosphere now is going to reflect on him. Amen. Because so long as he was under that tree, the enemy was at sabotaging people. But today, because what I saw was that the name was written. But the name, the way the name was written, it was it was turned upside down. But after the angel turned things around, it was written well. A new family history has been rewritten in this service. I declare as you are clapping, it will happen for you. I said it will happen for you. It will happen for you. Shall I receive it? Right now. Say, this is my time. This is my season. In the name of Jesus. Don't let it come to me. Don't let it come to me. There is something in the hands of this young lady. And, and, and I see. Can I was there for a few minutes? Can I was there for a few minutes? Yes. You were writing with the pen. Then all of a sudden, seven people came and took the pen away from you. The Lord said to me, the pen is your schooling. And the pen 
is your education. And the Lord said, no matter what you do, increase your education. Right now, what is happening? Are you schooling? Or have you schooled? And what is happening? And what is happening about education? About EPEN? Speak, let, let, let me speak to me. I graduated in May 2014. Wow. And I secured a full time job. But then after that, um, I was having issues at my job. So yeah. I, it was a mutual agreement, so I left. Yeah. So now I'm in a phase where I'm really deciding whether to go back to school. And I'm trying to pinpoint what exactly God is leading me to. Because no, you are not laughing because you are jealous. I said, I said you, are, you are not laughing. The reason why you felt uncomfortable in that workplace is because you have not finished upgrading yourself. Because where you are going and where the Lord has prepared for this young lady. It is higher levels. Yes. So the Lord says, raise yourself, get ready, go back to school. Yes. Yes. And as I saw that she's writing, I see that it is taking her to different places. Yes. That not only when you finish, you are going to start working for someone, but this young lady will work for herself. Let me tell you something. In order to help you believe that I'm a prophet, when you were going through that phase of your life, one day, the time, the day was on a Wednesday, the time was around 10.45 p.m. on the 15th second. You were there, then it dawned on you and you said to yourself, why am I even working for somebody? I need to set up something of myself. Clap for hands to the name of God. The Lord says, when she sat and thought about it, it is not you that you are thinking about it. But that time, two angels entered over there. And the angels told you, you are living below your potential. Get ready, brace yourself, go to the school, take the pen, go and write. If I be a prophet of God, I will see you again, and the story will be good news. Oh no, may God do the same thing for you. My sister, come to me. Come. My sister, come to me. The Lord is ministry to church on the 22nd. Um, when is the revival? 22nd, right? Listen, go and tell the whole New York, go and tell the whole America that on the 22nd, of this month, so in ministries, the revival is going to be dangerous. <laughs> listen, listen, it's going to be Fanta Buddha. It's going to be heavy. Don't be a dropout. Bring everybody, bring your friends, your neighbors, or and your enemies, so that they will change. Don't don't be a bring people because what's going to happen is going to be massive. Everything we are having here today is just a taster. Mm. On the 22nd, I said, don't be a dropout. When you come, come early and don't come alone. Mm. My sister, whilst I was praying for my sister that the Lord is restoring her, the Lord says, I should pray for you and for you, I should pray into your dreams when you sleep in the night. That any power that tries to affect you, the middle of your dreams when you sleep may the hand of God break it away from your life and the protection of God shall be your portion let me tell you something about you that Lord is ministering to me when you were young at the age of 11 years from the age of 5 years to 11 years the Lord gave you a gift and what is the gift? the gift is that you you will have the spirit of intuition you could feel some things and you could you, you could you could discern you are smiling you are happy because and the lord is glad your hands to the name of the lord <laughs> if you when somebody is coming close to your life you just get an inclination now, this person i need to be very careful this person is this this person is this this person is this it's a potential a gift that god has placed inside of you and the Lord is ministering that the enemy tried as much as possible to cover and hide that gift. But whilst you're standing there, the Lord said to me, it's about to give you visitations. So that that gift and potential, the talent inside of you, it will bear out greatly. 
and not only is it going to be birthed out, but because it's going to be birthed out, then you will try as much as possible to affect you in your dreams when you sleep. But today, as a prophet of God, I have declared your dreams, you meet the power of God, you meet the angels of God, and in your dreams, God will fight on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout a better hallelujah. Shout a better hallelujah. And a gift that you carry. Sometimes it makes you disassociate yourself from people and it makes you a bit careful of people. And sometimes people think it's a kind of character you have. But it's not your character, but you're just careful of people. Because you have a feeling before anything happens. But I came here as a prophet to endorse that gift that from today it will increase and out of it, God will let you be at the right place at the right time for you to be the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. Somebody clap for you. Somebody lift up your two hands, lift up your two hands. Say, oh God, oh God. This, is this is my time. This is my portion. This is my portion. Remember my life. Deliver me now. In the name of Jesus. Wow. Just give me the oil. As I'm talking right now, angels are here. And if I don't control myself, everybody, I'll prophesy to everybody. <laughs> And it to be very, very sensitive. Jesus. So, what will happen is that everybody lift up your two hands. Let me make a declaration. Anything that you have lost in your life, I prophesy, may you receive it again. I said, may you receive it again. I said, may you receive it again. May you enter into your season of restoration. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy in the next seven days. May something good happen to you. I said, may something wonderful happen to you. Somebody shout, I receive it right now. Shout, I receive it right now. Somebody say something good happen to me right now. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh my God. This is my time. Work on my behalf. Me. By your mercy, in the name of Jesus, somebody shout Jesus for three times. Now, wait, Father God, I give you praise. I, I see, I see, I see an angel that is cleaning out some names. Listen, there are some people here, you owe some monies. The Lord says from today. You not get any phone call or letter again. It has been cancelled in the house. I can't get better email. I swear. I see some names being wiped off. Jesus. Somebody say wipe off. Wipe off. Say it one more time. Wipe off. Say it again. Wipe off. Say say wipe off. Wipe off. Right now. Right now. Jesus. Jesus. Mama, give me your right hand. Mama, give me your right hand. Listen, nobody will find a negative way to take away from you what you want. You have a very soft and a genuine heart. And because of that, people try as much as possible to take advantage of it. But the Lord says, from today, it will never happen again. I said, listen, the number of things you have lost to people, they are more than the number you've been able to acquire and you've been able to get them protect. But the Lord is about to restore you and you're going to receive something good in the name of Jesus. Somebody said, I receive it. I receive it. Whilst we are talking right now, whilst we are talking right now, I, I, I see something like, um, um, a golden shoe. Golden shoe. Do you know a shoe? Yes. This one is made in gold. That just dropped at the back there. When it just dropped at the back there, on it, it was written Claudia. Ah, wait. Everybody, everybody in the auditorium, sit down. Everybody in the auditorium, sit down. Sit down. Something has happened. Now, everybody, lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. My sister, come and let me pray for you. Come. Give me your right hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I cover you. Jesus. Self, let me say I am delivered. I am delivered. Right now. Right now. Put your hand on your belly. I want to ask you one question. Do you have a child? No. You don't have a child. Mm-hmm. Put your hand on your belly. Because in the realm of the spirit, what I saw was that in the supernatural, there was an attack against your belly. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you a prophetess that you know what I'm talking about? I suffer from five words. Come, clap your hands together, mother. Mm-hmm. Have you been to surgery before? Yes. How many times? Just once. Just once. I see that there is fibroid by a womb. Mm-hmm. And if I don't pray and take it out, she can never have a baby. Mm-hmm. And the Lord said that has been tormenting you. Ah. And it has been your crime. Because I see that this lady is supposed to give birth to four children. Yeah. Two girls, two boys. The boy will even be born on a Sunday. But I come to do something for you as a prophet of God. And my sister, get ready. Are you married or you have somebody? No. No, not yet. I'm single, but lately well, I've been praying and fasting and asking God to bring my husband. Jesus. And in that prayer, for my children. I was like, God, why are you having me pray for my children? Wait, wait. Everything under you, your belly. No, wait, wait. God told you to pray for your children. Yes. And the Lord says, Play, place your hand on your belly. And when the prophet called you, is the same thing the prophet made you to do. What a mighty God! What a mighty God! Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Whilst I'm talking, um, can I get envelopes? Can I get envelopes? Can I stand in there? There's going to be a surgical operation on your womb. Okay, I saw, I saw a body shoe. Now when I saw the body shoe, it dropped into the auditorium. So now this is what's going to happen. The whole auditorium be on your feet. And let me check where the body shoe went to. Everybody be on your feet. Now, this row, sit down. This row, sit down. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. But the God issue is still moving in the auditorium. God issue is still moving in the auditorium. The God issue is still moving in the auditorium. Sit down. Before you start, give me your right hand. May God 
cause you to receive everything you have lost in Jesus' name. May you receive it right now. Yes. Thank you, God. May you receive it right now. I said, may you receive it right now. Uh -huh. yes. May you receive it right now. Yes. 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 I'm not from United States of America. I don't need to get on that machine before. No, I'm not. I've never been to this machine before. No, no. Was there a time you made your mind to talk to another nation? Or you were making your mind up? Oh, I thought about traveling to Africa. You talked about traveling to Africa. Which particular nation exactly did you make your mind to travel to? 16th birthday. Which nation? Oh, which nation? Which nation? Which country? You got Africa is a continent, not a country. Yeah. So which of the countries in Africa you plan to go? Talk about Ghana. Talk about Ghana. Okay. Then um, when is the 16th birthday? You're planning to do that? Oh, I might be planning for the next year. Yeah, the next year. Do you know the reason why I asked you about that? And you told me that Ghana, because the Lord said to me, your ancestors. Originally, you were Ghanaian. Ah, Jesus. God, you saw me and you in Ghana. And the Lord said, that you confirmed of him. The Lord said to me, Jesus, you have lost so many things in your life. You have lost so many things. But in this season, you are going to be restored. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him my good issue. Auntie, sit down. No red ones, I know.
of the conference, don't be a dropout. We'll come and I know that there will be opportunity for people to meet the prophet. I will give you prophetic directions. There are a couple of fruits you will buy. The olive oil and some drink you will buy. You will buy from any shop. But when it enters into Zoe ministry, it will become a dead fruit. I will blow on it for you.
by the sacrifice. I said, may heaven remember you by the sacrifice. In the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Now give me the numbers.